Hello, hello, this is Minecraft Alex here. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. And today I'm making a return back to Minecraft Survival Test. And in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Let's Play on Minecraft Survival Test. And since some of you know who played Survival Test, know that in Survival Test you can't save worlds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this until I die. And obviously you cannot respawn in this version of Minecraft. If you do die, you will lose the world, and otherwise you cannot save the world. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some goals for myself, such as I want to reach a score of, of 9,000 or higher. Um, and as you can see in the top right bar, there's a score. Um, Icon, well, not really an icon, but just a score zero. Uh, and I'm planning to have that reach 9,000, and you basically can get score points by killing mobs. You get some score, uh, I think it ra get raised by like 25 or something when you kill pigs and non-hostile mobs, but you get more sc you get more score points for killing mobs. So anyway, this world is actually a normal sized world, and whenever I launch Minecraft Survival Test, it instantly creates a world. However, I would like to play in a huge world just to make it more interesting. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is build myself a house and just get things started. And I want to build myself a house probably out of gold blocks because I can see gold. And that would sound very, very crazy to someone who's playing just regular Minecraft to build a house out of gold blocks. However, in this version, gold is not really important. And when you break gold ore, you just get several gold blocks sometimes. But sometimes I get as little as one gold block, I think, to as much as about five gold blocks per piece of ore. And um, also, this version of Minecraft doesn't have an inventory nor a crafting table, so you can basically break every block with your hand. So let me see, I'm up to 24 gold. I think that's going to be enough for building my house. I'll just collect the rest here. Um, I think I need at least half a stack, maybe more. I also want to build a huge tower up to the height limit of the game. Well, to the highest point that you can build in survival test. And I think it's something like uh, 56, Y56, or uh, Y120. But this version of Minecraft didn't have like uh, an F3 menu or anything, so you can't actually check your height. You, you, you're just gonna have to go and like edit the game. I think there are mods for that. However, you cannot just go into F3 and you can't, and you can't like look at your height. So anyway, looks like this gold ore is like just everywhere and everywhere. So it seems like I have ran out of gold ore, and I think that's enough. 46 is a lot. And in this version of the game, Survival Test, these ores can uh, go on for a long, long time. And you actually don't have to go very deep to um, get ores, as they can even generate on they can even generate on the side of mountains, like we saw here. I just spawned, and then there's just gold by the side of the mountain. Uh, and of course, in the current version of Minecraft in 1.10, you do have to mine down, but luckily you can just find gold on the surface. Um, so like I said before, my goal is going to be to reach a score of uh, higher than 9,000, um, and also build a house. Uh, I also want to survive as long as I can. I also want to gain more arrows than I lost because it is very difficult to actually gain arrows. You have to kill skeletons and it's hard to kill skeletons without depleting your arrows. Oftentimes killing skeletons actually wastes more arrows as it generates because skeletons don't generate that much arrows. And other mobs like spiders, zombies, and creepers often require arrows as well, but they don't even drop any arrows at all. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to kill most mobs with my hand, just to conserve arrows, just for when I need them. Uh, so it looks like this uh, this uh, gold ore area is continuing, which is great because I'm getting more than a stack of gold. And as you can see, I'm already over 64. That is because I think you can reach 100 or 99. Yes, I'm pretty sure that you can have 99 items per slot. Um, it wasn't a thing back then that 64 was the highest that you could get in one slot. So anyway, it looks like our start is pretty nice. I'm already gain, gaining uh, building materials for my house. 
Uh, I also want to build a really tall tower that goes up to the height limit, which is fairly low in survival test. I also want to make a block museum, and uh, a block museum is basically a house which has all the blocks uh, that are possible to obtain in the game. So I will try to obtain every single block that is possible to obtain in this version of the game and place them inside my uh, tower slash house that I'm planning to build. And of course, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to save my world at the end of the day, and if I die, my world will be forever lost, and the only memory of it will be this tape and this YouTube video that will eventually get uploaded to YouTube. Um, so I really like how the blocks look like, as you can see, they're floating up in the air. Oh, no, oh yeah, there we go, and as you can see, I can't gain any more gold blocks than 99, and as you can see, just floating and... It, this is only a classic and survival test thing that they start kind of like glowing when they f they're they floating. They actually remove that very uh, early on. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go up back to the surface and start building my house. And also one other thing. Oh no. And there's a skeleton there. No, 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 no. Please don't. Okay, what is this? What is this? Yeah, and... And you guys probably know, if you played Survival Test, you know that if, um, that to regain health, you must eat mushrooms, and you can get mushrooms from, uh, oh, yay, we can get arrows like that. Okay, let's just hold him back, just to make sure. Yes! Do we get any arrows? Yes, yes, my goal is already being fulfilled. So, if you already played Survival Test before, you probably know that the there's no day night cycle in survival test there's actually no sun and it's daytime all the time uh that's a big plus however there is a big drawback that mobs can spawn hostile mobs spawn in groups all the time and you can never be safe from mobs because they basically spawn everywhere and they just run around like crazy and try to kill you um, and it is very difficult to kill mobs in survival tests. It is very, very easy to get killed by a zombie or skeleton. If one creeps up behind me right now, I could probably die in a few seconds. It's amazing how Minecraft used to be very difficult. Like, now Minecraft isn't that hard. However, even though they added new difficulties and, uh, and the fact that uh, mobs AI is now more advanced in 1.9 and the fact that they added uh, double wielding and regeneration that made Minecraft a bit harder however I don't think any update will make Minecraft as hard as it used to be back in survival test and alpha because that's when the time when Minecraft you actually needed scale to play Minecraft however in my opinion I think it was just ruined by a bunch of uh, uh, 10 year olds who who flooded the Minecraft market around uh, 2011 in beta. Uh, that's when Minecraft became really popular, uh, especially through YouTubers and stuff. And that's when many new players joined Minecraft, and they influenced the Minecraft community a lot by making the game easier and uh, just making it, making it different from the original Minecraft. I guess it's good. Uh, updates to game to a game is always good, and I would hate to see Minecraft not get any updates. It's not like I'm against new updates. It's just that I think that sometimes Minecraft is just losing its integrity. Uh, for example, the double wielding that was added in 1.9. I really don't like that feature. And yes, looks like we're going to reach 99 real soon. I really don't like the double wielding feature in Minecraft 1.9 because it it kind of doesn't really feel like Minecraft. Oh no, 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 no. That was close. Wow, did I get any arrows from that? Wow, 32. Now I gotta find some mushrooms. Okay, I really hope there's no mobs out there waiting for me. I, I really hope so. And as you can see, lighting was basically not smooth. You didn't even need any torches because there's light here as there is there. Uh, I mean, lighting wasn't that smooth in alpha either, but there's basically no vibrant lighting at all. Vibrant lighting was only added. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. I really don't want to die now. But if I do, then the series will be over for today. Okay, okay, okay. 
Well, it seems like I was only able to fulfill uh, my score of 450, and looks like my goal of 9,000 or higher is a better score. And looks like I have a score of 650 now. I don't know why that happened. So anyway, I still haven't achieved my goal of 9,000. I haven't even built myself a house. And like I promised, uh, when when I die, the game is going to be over. So yeah, and it, for some reason the score is going up. I don't know, it's probably a glitch, and unfortunately I did lose all my work in this level. However, that is the beauty with survival tests, that you can save worlds. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And see you all in the next episode, and I might make a new one. However, I don't really see why I should. Um, leave feedback if you want to see more episodes. Please leave some feedback. If you don't, then just say that you don't, and then I'll just focus on other videos. Um, so this was Mine Kralix, uh, and I'm out.